Good morning. I learned from you that to end a fight, it takes one, one person, and it has to be me. And you don't like that. In a situation with an ex-husband and a child involved, in my experience over the years, to me that meant that I just have to swallow everything that comes flying at me. I think it'd be, uh, I, I know what you said back is at least similar to things that we've said. But for you in particular, I think uh, I, I'd make a little shift in how you speak. So it takes two to fight and one to end the fight, and it always gets to be me. Because okay. we say it has to be me. Yeah. yeah. I have to do it. There's a victimness in the way you repeated the words, mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to, I get to discover how to solve this puzzle mm -hmm. that's before me. I mean... You see, you talk about your ex-husband, you start bristling. Bristling meaning what? Getting annoyed, upset. You have a list of all the things he's done wrong that pops to the front of the screen. As soon as you start talking about him, you start mm -hmm. to get upset. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Right. And the list comes forward. And no matter what he does, you're prepared for the history. Mm -hmm. So you're not just meeting your ex-husband. You've got a whole list of complaints about this guy. And I'm not saying they're not well-founded. They may all be true. But so what? You're still the one who gets upset in dealing with him. There's a word, it's called forgiveness. And you don't want to. Including so, you don't want to forgive yourself for setting up the situation the way it is. Forgiveness mm. means to give up the right or the desire to punish. You know, in our new book, Being Here Too, uh, there's a lovely chapter uh, written by Tanya where she discovers how her attitude toward her ex has initiated all the uh, dynamics between them. And she discovered it when her judgment spontaneously fell away, where he was no longer the enemy and the adversary. So emails, texts, phone calls, in-person meeting was not met with the attitude that she had previously carried along that it perpetuated the things she said she didn't want. And as you're sitting here listening to me, I see you less than excited about the possibility that it could be over in an instant if you were to let go of your judgments. You really are invested in it's him. And I can tell in how you relate to me. You may not realize it, but there's a dismissiveness with any time I interact with you, there's a dismissiveness. Hmm. So it may not just be your ex-husband. I said you don't be, let it go in deep. It, it may be across the board men that how you relate is to hold them at arm's length. Hmm. And maybe you've got good cause, I don't know. But I do know that when I speak, I feel as though you're waiting for Ariel to save you from me. She's actually looked at me a few I know, times. I know, I know, I know. I'm watching it happen, man. Yeah. yeah. And you know, he's on your side. Shai is on your side. I can't speak for your ex, but I know Shai is. So there's... See, I don't think that this is just around your ex-husband. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's the way you learn to relate with men mm -hmm. has you holding them as the enemy in some respect. Guarding your heart. Right. Being protected. Mm -hmm. So you don't fully allow yourself to be here. You're cautious. Hmm. And it, you know, uh, you have a son, so... You got a man there. You may as well... Small sons. body, but a man. Oh. Getting bigger all the time. Oh. You don't need to guard your heart.
It's uh, very strong. But I want to go back to forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You see, to forgive means to give up the right or desire to punish, but it also means to have what went before as though it never happened. Mm -hmm. So like when you forgive a debt, then there was no debt. When you say, I forgive the debt, you don't owe me anything anymore, Mm -hmm. then it's over. And you haven't been willing to have it be over. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to hold on to your list of why he was wrong. Being right and having another person wrong robs you of happiness. I hope I'll be able to see that now. Thank you. Well, do you see it now? You say, I hope I'll be able to see it now. Mm. There's no time like the present. This moment is all there really is, you see. Mm. So if you relax into it, you might discover that it won't hurt you for him to be the way he is and you to be the way you are and it all being okay. But again, it comes down to your being willing to give up that list because you have a list. You know what I'm talking about. All the things that you hold he does wrong, did wrong, is wrong about. I haven't forgiven myself. I think that's maybe what I should start with. I find that really hard. Well, I love that you Take what I say, put it back in your words, and give me a better answer answer than I For something you've been wrestling with for a while. I've done that before. Trust me, it doesn't work. Just saying. Uh, it, uh, I told you what you need to do, and you're giving me what you no, need no, to do. No, no, it's really and better it's is forgiving me. Do. Right. Hmm. Forget you. Okay. It's all right if a man hands you the keys to your heart. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. For more information about the Canes, their books and seminars, go to transformationmadeeasy.com.